Hiya guys, welcome back to Creative Tap. I hope you guys are doing well. Now today we're going to be diving into Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how to take a sketch to a really cool looking piece of concept art. Okay, so I don't know what we're still doing here. Let's dive on into the video. So I started off with this little sketch of this alien. Looks really, really cool. Um, looking at this, you can see the shading where the light, where the shadows are, and where the light's coming from, and where the light's hitting him. So that's quite nice. I brought the image into Photoshop, and it was quite low res at first. So I just went to image size, and I, I just upscaled it. The next thing I wanted to do is I start, wanted to start drawing around different parts of the body, like the head, the side bit coming down him, the sort of mouth, the teeth, the inside of the mouth, and some of the legs. I wanted to draw around them separately with the pen tool, and once I'd done that, what I would do is I would get the, I would save the path, and I would fill each area with just block colour, so I can use that as a clipping mask later. So yeah, you can see here, I'm loading each of those paths from the path tab. I'm loading them each as a selection, making a new layer, and just simply filling with black. And as you can see at the end, what we end up with is an alien who's just covered in different black segments. So next I started looking online for some textures and I found this really nice scaly texture that I liked and I thought this would work quite well. Uh, I'm not too worried about the colour. But what I did is I brought this layer into Photoshop and then I put it just above the head layer where I'd cut out the head and then I used my Alt button and clicked the two layers so that the texture would adopt the clipping mask of the layer below. I then essentially just used the warp tools to kind of warp it so it looks like the scales are closer in the sort of middle bit of the head and a little bit smaller on the edges to look like it's going around a curved surface. All I did from there is repeated the process. I used the same texture over and over again with the different clipping masks. So just put it above the layer, click Alt and then just warp it so it has some sort of shape to it to look as if it's wrapping around him. So what we were left with was a sort of scaly looking flat texture for the skin and we need to add some other things now. So I next found a picture of an iguana eye and I used this, sort of masked it out and drew a quick clipping mask for the circle bit of the eye because I hadn't done that earlier. And then I just sort of scaled and positioned this when it was built into its clipping mask. I then duplicated the eye, I used the liquify tool to kind of just distort it a little bit to look as if it's a side on view and then I just cut out the little bit that I want and I placed the left eye into position. Next it was time to add the teeth and it took me a while to find a good enough picture for the teeth but I managed to find this sort of sharp teeth sort of fossil or whatever it is. I really like this because it had loads of different kind of length of teeth and it just looked really grisly. So I brought this into Photoshop, I got rid of the black background and then what I'm doing is using the puppet tool to just add some pins and then I can warp it so it kind of curves around his sort of gum line. And then I just used the clipping masks that I'd previously drawn out for parts of his body, selected the pixels and then just used that as a bit of a layer mask to hide the bits that I don't want to see and then you've got these nice really sharp threatening teeth kind of poking out. When it came to the mouth, I found this picture of the inside of a snake's mouth and I warped it and then again used the clipping mask of the mouth just to kind of get it into place. Now, I don't know about you, but I wasn't really a fan of the green, so I put a hue and saturation above all of the texture layers and then I changed this to a nice sort of vibrant red. However, now there was one thing missing, one really key thing, the alien just looks really, really flat, so what we need to do is we need to add some sort of lighting and some shadows to really give the character some form, and that's the key thing that, that makes these concept art pieces work. So I started off by using an exposure layer and I set the exposure down to really bring out some shadows. From here I just inverted the layer mask so I could then paint in exactly where I want these shadows to fall. Now the sketch that I was provided for with this actually has some sort of shadowy areas sketched in so that was a little help. So I've just got the little sketch to the side and I'm using that as reference on where to draw these. Just make sure if you're doing this that you have the opacity of the brush really low. I think mine's on like 4, 8%, something like that. And it really comes through gradually then. And again, using a whack on pen for this is really, really helpful. 
So now the shadows are done, it's equally as important to brush in the highlights. So I used another exposure adjustment layer, turned the brightness of the exposure up, and then I used the masking technique where I'm painted on the layer mask and just brought it in in the areas that seemed relevant where the light would hit. So that's kind of like on the rim, the top of his head, and the top of his legs, just to give that some sort of form as well. I just finished off by adding one or two more exposure layers just to kind of paint in some really harsh edge lighting, just like two pixels in on the top of his head, but just to get a sort of harsher kind of contact light on there and maybe one or two sort of dark shadows as well. So I just added one or two more just for the final touches. So we then had the issue that his mouth was too bright, so I've then used some more colour correction techniques like curves or levels, and you can really make that very dark. And I know it's an image and you can't tell it's an image of the inside of the snake mouth anymore, but I still think it's best practice to use images rather than just blank colours. The finishing touches to set this all up, I made a grey background with a gradient from light grey to dark grey. I then made a layer above and drew in these sort of very faint white brush strokes to show light coming in from the left because that's where the light source is. And then I also used a new layer again underneath the alien but on top of the grey gradient and I just used a brush to paint in some shadows underneath the alien. Finally I came back in, I realised I wanted the eyes to be yellow so I put a hue and saturation layer just above the eyes and changed the colour eyes to yellow and just painted in the areas of red just because I didn't want that to clash with his skin. And there you have it, the final piece of concept art from sketch all the way to final piece. Using some pretty basic skills, using some just clipping masks, a little bit of warping and then just paying attention to the lighting. The lighting is the real key part to really sell this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's a bit of a different one for me. I haven't really done a speedy tutorial like that where I've sped everything up and I haven't really done any concept art ones before. So if you want to see more of these please do let me know in the comments below. If you want to send in for example some of your sketches, some of your pictures and I'll do that to yours, by all means I'll do that. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe and, and let me know what you want to see next. Cheers.